Public transportation workers who still have jobs are putting their health at risk. Four SEPTA employees have died from the virus and many more are getting sick. Jessica Cartelia shows you how they're being recognized. The soundtrack of a pandemic. Horns blared and sirens roared at 69th Street Terminal for the often unappreciated men and women who get us where we need to go. Amtrak, MTA, New Jersey Transit, we are joining in recognizing the heroic acts of our frontline workers here in transit. The virus has taken the lives of dozens of transit workers nationwide. In New York City, the toll is hard to imagine. Tragically, 68 of our brave colleagues have lost their lives during this pandemic. At least four SEPTA workers have died. Michael Holt, Philip Williams, Theodore Nixon, and Mike Hill. Hill was a longtime regional rail conductor who passed away this week. He last worked April 2nd and was hospitalized on the 4th. His daughter tells Eyewitness News customers have been reaching out to the family with memories of her dad. We know that our transit workers, along with other frontline workers, are putting themselves every day on the line. SEPTA continues to urge customers to wear masks and is now providing them, but riders aren't required to put them on. As we reported last night, wearing masks will be mandatory in most Pennsylvania businesses come Sunday night, but SEPTA isn't included. I think it would be much better if on public transportation everyone wore a mask, and we are recommending that, but that wasn't specifically part of this order. SEPTA says the best bet is to avoid using its system unless it's absolutely necessary for everyone's sake. We miss you, but we ask you to stay home. Hill's daughter tells us that her father was never given protective equipment by SEPTA. SEPTA only recently started handing out PPE to its employees. I'm Jessica Cartalia, CBS3 Eyewitness News.